Hello everyone, it's Katani Rovalekova, and I am here in my professional piercing studio to show you how to pierce your ears. Now obviously, I'm a trained professional because I deal with swords all the time. I know how to do this stuff. It is the same stabbing motion, so it is the same. I am an expert at fencing, so I'm expert at ear piercing. Now you see, my ears are not pierced. I am expert. Now the few things you're going to need, okay? You're going to need your earrings. I have small basic studs here, so I have two of them, I'm holding one. Next, since we cannot use Epe for this, um, because Epe is too big, it's not good to read ear properly. I have small ears too, you know, the lobe is kind of small, so I cannot have large thing go through at once. So we're going to choose just a, a basic uh, sewing needle. You see, this is good size for this, and it's it's good for, for your ear, because if you can use it to sew, you can use it to put in your ear, obviously. You know, it's, it's a basic one, you see it has hole on the end, you have push, uh, you have uh, not, not balls on top, so that way you can push all the way through your ear. I want to get bar of soap. Uh, it does not matter if it's used or not, it's okay either way, just make sure you have something to put behind your ear when you poke it in. Okay, you can also use anything like a potato, make sure that uh, you lick this potato first. You can also use an apple that's been in your refrigerator for um, three weeks. Something like that. anything that's kind of hard, you know, with a little bit of give you can push into and it helps, it helps push the um, Help push push the needle onto the uh, ears, okay? Next, you don't want you don't want some gloves, okay? I have just one here. I want to put on both hands, probably. I think so. It's probably a good idea. But you want to you want to want the gloves for safety, and I'll explain a little bit why later. Why we use gloves instead of just using our fingers? You know, fingers are all natural. We want to do this natural way. Don't need anything else. But it's good to have a glove, okay? Some will be wearing that. You want a pen? We have a pen here. Marks your ear holes. Uh, where you want it to go is just good for you and sticking it in your ear. So we're gonna step on to what is next for how you do this. One second. Okay, so step one. You're gonna want to prepare your, prepare your ears uh, the right way. Okay, you can do this by to get your fingers, you know, you got your fingers, you don't do anything to them, you don't do anything to your ears really, except for massage your ears. You get them nice, nice and good. Uh, get your oily fingers on there. This uh, helps promote natural healing, quick healing, and it it uh, it's better than putting not but uh, putting outside things on your ears. It's better to to get them nice and prepare for this with just your fingers. It's good for them. Okay. Okay. The next step, you get your earrings. Okay. You don't want to get them all nice and rub them, rub them up with your fingers again, your oily fingers. This helps prepare them to go into your ear because your ear might think this is not what goes in mind. It's not supposed to be in here, but your fingers, you put your finger, you put yourself onto the metal here, and your body will not reject this. Okay? If you don't, it bad things happen. I'll explain later, but this is a good way to get the earrings ready to go on your ear. So your ear says, okay, I like this, this is good, we'll keep it in there because it is part of me, because it has parts of me on it. So it must be me. This is how we fool our ears, okay? This is this whole process of big fooling of your ears into getting things in them, okay? Okay, so we get our needle. We want to prepare our needle for this too. Same thing. Okay, this one, since it's sewing needle, it's probably already been in your mouth if you've been sewing things. Okay, that is good. The saliva promotes healing in, uh, in, in your body, okay? Your saliva is good for you, you know, so if you have not already licked this, go ahead and do that now. Just... Okay, that's nice and sterilized. As you know, dogs, it's like when a dog licks its, licks its cut. Okay, it's good for you. Same thing here. Nice and sterilized. Okay, next one I will mark your ear hole. I will do this, uh, I'll show you how to do this. Um, you just boom, boom. Okay, you can do this with any sort of thing. You can use pen, pencil, sharpie, uh, acrylic paint, uh, uh, oil paint lead-based oil paint, it does not matter, I use pen I find in the street, okay?
Okay, next you want to put on this glove. Okay, now I know you're for putting natural stuff in the ear, but already you've put too much. You've put all the natural essence of you onto your materials. Okay, so now if you put too much, if you have too much on your fingers, you're put, just rubbing it through done it already. If you have more. If you put it in there, your body will think it is actually a part of you and will actually absorb the earring into your ear. That's not something we want to happen. So what we do is we wear the gloves. This helps to keep from getting more of you onto your equipment and it stops the bad things later when um, things get really ugly. You, you don't, don't want to try it. It's bad. Okay, now we're going to actually the ear piercing part, okay? So, you want to first put, you know, you put your stop behind your ear. Just give you a little bit, a uh, bit of uh, things to help push into it, okay? You know, you want to make sure that if this is used soap, that it's been used by you. Again, we are just helping the body accept the new object that's going inside there. Okay, so now, you're going to put, you're just going to shove the earring in. You're going to shove your needle in, okay? So, I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit after I put the needle in my ear. Make sure you go at an angle, okay? Otherwise, you're just gonna have silly looking ears. Don't want that. You're gonna feel it go in. Honestly, it doesn't hurt that bad until you get to the later stages. So it's going in, you're gonna feel a pierce, you're gonna, you're gonna feel a piercing thing, it's not going to be comfortable, but it is not painful. Acknowledge the pain and release it. Do not dwell on it. Oh, there goes another pop. You're gonna feel weird popping noises throughout this. They're not going to hurt. It just feels strange. When it starts to poke out the other side, which I can feel now, is when it starts to hurt more. Just so you are aware of when the pain comes. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so now we get our jewelry. <sighs> and you say there's no ball on the end of this thing, so... Okay, so you're gonna stick... You're gonna pop your jewelry in. This part actually... Probably hurts the most. Earring did not go in. There is now a nice hole. Where the heck did the, did the hole go? On the back. That's not going to work. My body is already accepting this as one of its own. Okay. You're done. Now for aftercare, you make sure you want to touch these as much as possible. This promotes healing as well as moving them around as much as possible. You'll sweat a lot, obviously. Now for aftercare for cleaning these, you don't want to use a mixture your own spit and rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol removes the bad germs and your spit puts back the good germs that belongs to you there. Okay? That's how you do it. This is how you... That's how you pierce an ear the proper way with professionals. 
<sighs> Even my arm is sweating. That's how, that's how professionals do it. Let's do this. Everything in my body is saying, what are you doing? Self-preservation, -pres okay? Don't stick things in your ears, but I'm like... I've stabbed myself worse than this. My heart is pounding. My ear is going... What the crap are you doing? Not as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. I was expecting incredible pain. This was just mildly... Not comforting. <laughs> 